So, okay. um, one approach, this would be this, <laughs> with, a, with a level, until, um, so now we're reading, it's pretty plump, and I have this mark here that I made. Um, so now I'm going to go over here, and do the same thing right here, and say, all right, there, that's, that's plumb. So now I have a couple marks, something to guide me, and then I'm going to slice it off, slice the excess material off between those, those marks. Um, that. Um, if I were to check it here, look at that, that's plumb. So, it gets easier and easier to define the plane of the wall the more, you know, the more material there is. So it's not always obvious at this point, but here, clearly, is a lot of material. And this is good stuff. We should be, you know, you want to save this stuff. It took a lot of work to make this material. Um, you know, we've got to buy the sand and everything, so um, when it's still this wet, you can just take those trimmings and put them right back on top. So that's a machete is a good tool. I also really like the cob saw. <laughs> which is it's an old handsaw with big homemade, big teeth. Um, probably still kind of sharp, actually, um, even though it's been run through cob a lot. So I'm going to, over here, I'm just going to cut off some of the cob. Um, it was obviously way outside. Um, and I kind of usually hold my hand against here to, to guide the saw a little bit. Put my hand on the top of the blade. I'm just going to do that and then check it. And over here is where I, I'm still proud a little bit. Let's do this. And there we go. That's plumb. That mark there. And over here I find the Foundation up. Oh, I took too much there, so I guess that's why. So that's plumb right there. So I'm sure that'll get filled in. If we build more, this is gonna get smushed out too. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Mike, mm -hmm. I noticed that the saw did it cleaner than the machete. Did it, it cleaner? It, or? The cut was mm -hmm. more clean. Yeah, it, it, it is. I, I like using the cob saw um, for trimming like this most of the time. I think the machete is really useful sometimes if we decided we wanted to put a dead man in or we're like, oops, we built the wall too high, we wanted a window right here, so you can do, you know, the machete is good for doing this kind of stuff, um, but it also works for trimming, but yeah, I really like the cob saw for trimming, um, and you want to make sure you collect all this, <laughs> throw it back up top. Um, And that's that's the idea. It's, it's uh, important to go around and and uh, trim the walls as you go, um, just so you don't end up doing a lot of work that you then sort of have to cut off and, and redo. Um, um, it's it's important to not concern yourself with the plumbness of everything below the top of the stone foundation. Like we, I don't know if you can see if anyone has been on this side, they can see that we're starting to cover up the foundation on the interior of the building. So we're, we're covering up all this with cob. Um, and that's that's because we don't want air and insects and snakes to be able to come into the house. But it's not important for that section, for that little uh, like sheathing of cob to be plumb with the rest of the wall. So don't, if you if you put your level all the way down, it's gonna it's gonna screw you up. It's gonna make it really difficult and it's gonna make you wanna like build out a lot more cob. So when you use your level, start just from the top here on the interior of the building. So how will we be able to see that? Is there going to be a? Is it going to be clearly? Uh, I can make it. I can make it. That's a good point. I can make a line right now over here. 